year old Kevin Castro was driving the car that suffered the blowout. His injuries turned out to be superficial. Litter has been a problem around the city for years. Fox 33's Brandon Hines hit the streets of Shreveport today to find out what exactly is causing the problem. Many have asked an important question. Does the city of Shreveport have a litter problem? Many residents seem to think so along with one local advocate, but she also says that the problem has decreased over the years. We do have a litter problem. We've had a litter problem for a long time. Um, interestingly enough, our as close as we can get to a scientific evaluation of the litter has reduced over the last six or seven years. A beer bottle, a pill container, along with a cigarette package were some of the many items found on the streets and highways in Shreveport today. Thousands are spent each year to keep rubbish off our streets and highways. So exactly what is the problem? I personally think our greatest source of litter is out of the back of pickup trucks and uh, large trucks. Um, transportation trucks, garbage trucks, trash trucks. Um, it's real easy to toss a piece of paper or toss something when you're thinking, I don't want to put it on the road, but I'll just throw it in the back of the car until I get home. It may not be there when you get home. In fact, it may end up right here, hurting the local economy and giving visitors a bad impression. You know, what bothers me is who's, who's dumping it, too. And, you know, it's, uh, I'd like to see both ends stop. Uh, and I'd like to see it cleaned up and like to see uh, uh, people stop dumping their trash. City officials say that while they are doing everything possible to remedy the situation, that it is going to take a community effort to fix the problem altogether. In Treeport, Brandon Hines, Fox 33 News, Arkla, Texas. A local dentist is doing a good deed this month as her way to give back to the community.